Good morning. It's December 21st, which is also our winter solstice. Our scripture today comes from Isaiah 22, verses 20 and 22. On that day, I will call my servant Eliakim, son of Hilkiah, and will clothe him with your robe and bind your sash on him. I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open and no one shall shut. He shall shut and no one shall open. Clothed with Christ in baptism, the newly baptized may receive a baptismal garment. What will you wear to church on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or to a Christmas get-together with your family and friends? Are you going to go to the Christmas Eve service in the morning? Are you going to go to the Christmas Eve service in the evening? Are you going to go to both? Are you going to wear different outfits? No matter what you wear, the most important garment will be the one that comes from God in baptism. Your baptismal robe is yours for all time, whether the congregation gives a garment or that is implied. This rope cannot be taken away. You have the joy of being clothed in Christ for all eternity. When Eliakim was appointed the treasurer in the palace of Hezekiah, he received clothing that symbolized his office. Dressed in the uniform of his new vocation, he was expected to grow into the responsibilities and sacred trust that his new wardrobe represented. We have the privilege of growing into the person Christ calls us to be. Our baptismal clothing is a sacred trust, not a fashion statement. This everlasting garment brings blessing, responsibility, and hope. Christ died and rose to offer all God's creation the gifts of justice, compassion, and peace. Clothed in Christ for Christmas, what doors might we open to bring those gifts to the ones who need them most? Let us pray. O Key of David, how thankful we are to be baptized into Christ. Help us grow into the clothing you provide. 